titles rather than grand totals because year is a column, it's a subtotal. If I'd actually switched off grand totals, which is my first instinct, you might have noticed, is that would have so actually switched off these My objective for this tutorial in the grand totals is column, which to is deal one. with dates so we in could a different switch method to what we did in session we one. If our data also, was with session one, years. we so, reordered the months uh, by just dragging I think them. We created the way ultimate pivot things. table. Uh, but then uh, with the this related we table sorting with and the did months a bit that more efficiently in lesson one and then so we drag January and February to be the right way I've around. Over, I've so I'm hoping you find that uh, useful. The it's just adding tables to the data grouping, model, problem lists more, into tables, the lack setting of up relationships that we have already in the power pivot where here based we've got pivot tables, two tables versus one regular clients, Excel pivot tables. And one with so it's easily solved. You've now got two which I've picked deliberately because it's a very common scenario. Thank you People very much for your time. Report on payments uh, please feel free to so we've got contact me with any lists. questions. And there will be more tutorials coming along. Uh, set up a, a new with, uh, KPIs, dealing with uh, other reports. And power this time, view, instead of using uh, Power Query uh, and Power the Map month function like we did before, BI. we're going so to use the format of function. Simple demos just to help you get the hang of it. I'm and just using I'm going some to nice click on the data, date, which hopefully yeah, with will the format the function, the syntax so try this. basically. We I recommend actually with all this power pivot string. stuff, try it with some simple data so first, I've given it and then try your more complex my real formatting data. string. So thank you very much for your time, Bye. which again you'll recognise from just about every date formatting option that you've got in any software language, and I just press enter. Now you can see it's given me Jan for January, and these are January dates. And just to make a point, uh, I've also got some February data in here too, which is all good. Now the last thing I'll do is have a little column here called Year. And as we did in Lesson 1, we'll use the Year function to set up our year. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is our pivot table. But just before we do, just to illustrate, already got relationships in place using, using client ID to relate uh, the two tables. Payments has a client ID and the client table has a client ID. So we'll head to the pivot table tool and we're now looking at our data and we're going to set up our pivot table in a new worksheet. I'll just close the document information panel. We don't really need that. And I'll do a little bit of tweaking here. There we go, just to get this to fit. Looking good. So you'll recognize over on the right our client fields that we can draw from and our payment fields. So because we have a relationship, I can take the client name and drop that down into rows. That's looking good. I will take the payment amount and drop that into values. Now that's a perfectly useful little pivot table as it stands. Then I'll take months and drop it into columns. Now, as happened before, We've got February before January because A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and J comes off for later on. So we've got a bit of a problem. It's sorting A to Z. So what I'm going to do before I add year, now that's important. If we add year, it's going to get in the way. We will add year ultimately, but we'll deal with the sorting to get January to December happening first. So I'm now clicking on my drop down for column labels. I'm going to more sort options, which is very, very important choice, more sort options. Now, I'm now going to sort ascending A to Z. Now, that's not really going to help us just yet, but I wanted to get us out of manual sort order. I need to go to more options now, and I'm going to choose January, February, March as my sort order so that it will sort by month and then if I go OK so what we've now got is January 1st then February 
and it would go through to December if necessary. So uh, what we've done there is sorted by month, not by alphabetical order, but in chronological order. Now, I can safely add year to that because I could have data going over multiple years and I now have uh, years showing. We've got 2015. We've only got one year's worth of data. And uh, we've now got a pivot table. We've got a 2015 total, which is in this case effectively the grand total. Uh, what we can also do, though, is we can do things uh, with... Uh, totals if we wish through our pivot table view. Uh, you can even hide columns. But what we will do for the moment is you'll notice that was subtotals rather than grand totals because year is a column, it's a subtotal. If I'd actually switched off grand totals, which is my first instinct you might have noticed, is that would have actually switched off these totals here in the grand totals column, which is not what we wanted. So we could switch the subtotals back on if we needed them, if our data was spread across multiple years. So uh, that's just looking, I think, a more efficient way of doing things uh, then the related table with the months in that we used in lesson one and then we drag January and February to be the right way around. So I'm hoping you find that useful. It's just overcoming the grouping problem or more, more accurately the lack of grouping that we have in the power pivot based pivot tables versus regular Excel pivot tables. So it's easily solved. You've now got two options for dealing with that. And thank you very much for your time. Uh, please feel free to contact me with any questions. There will be more tutorials coming along. Uh, we're dealing with uh, KPIs, dealing with uh, other reports, Power View, uh, Power Query, and Power Map, and Power BI. So lots more little simple demos just to help you get the hang of it. I'm just using some nice simple data which hopefully will help get the concept across. So try this. I recommend actually with all this power pivot stuff, try it with some simple data first and then try your more complex real world data. So thank you very much for your time.